It's a weekly challenge. It's welcome to Woodbury. Woodbury is by far not the most welcoming place in the world, but okay. Close off the yard and get into the cell block. Now, Guardian Carol is our weekly champion, our star hero, and she's just one of the best leaders in the game. So, who knows? Maybe you'll, uh, you and your guild will be able to get a really good result this weekly challenge. I'm bringing Maggie just because that's one of my daily challenges, uh, not because she is necessarily an absolutely amazing hero or anything like that, but she's coming along just to, uh, so that I can get my seasonal event tokens. You need to get, oof, oof, this mission's tough. Um, you need to get, what is it, 610... Um, stars for the weekly challenge in order to get the maximum amount of tokens that you can get for the seasonal event so you want to you want to you know get you want to get that basically <laughs> uh, which is 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 pretty good because that's pretty easy to do you also got to do the distance every opportunity with the distance booster activated it costs 400 gold to activate it. So that's, you know, it ain't cheap, basically. But if you just save your gold just for that, then you should be able to do it. And then, of course, the daily challenges. Do those. If you do everything, then you actually earn more tokens than you need for the seasonal event. Now, Carol, you open that door, please. Looks like we've got some reinforcements coming in. We may as well get Maggie some charge points. Guardian Carol, of course, there doing the double tap. And if you hit... If you hit a target with a weapon that inflicts status effect, like incendiary there, then you've got a chance to get a charge point as well. So Carol, she's got two aspects to her leadership trait. And um, they'd, they'd be great on their own. Or well, they'd be fantastic if, if you got both of those effects combined by using two characters in a team together. But the fact that she has both of those effects just by herself really does make her a very good leader. That's a tough mission, that one. It is. There's just no two ways about it. Um, something that you could you could consider is the fact that there's a threat counter. So if it starts getting really tough... Consider the fact that you can, there's, there's loads of walkers that start on that mission, but once you've you've killed them, no more are going to come back if you lessen the threat counter, or at least don't add to it. You've got a couple of, of steps there, just focus on one thing at a time. Um, prison cellar regrouping, I think this one's a very tough one as well. Yeah, yeah, this one's this one's crazy as well. You're all separated. Got a lot of walkers that, that, that come in, like, really frequently as well. Hear that ringing phone? That's a reference to uh, Rick kind of losing it after Laurie dies. Now, this is something I recommend, which is just trying to advance as quickly as you can you can see that there's a twitching corpse pile there we're gonna have uh walkers sort of piling out joining us unwanted guests yeah and they're right where we need to escape as well this one's this one's tough um you might want to consider things like uh do you have bruises with riot shields, so you can just corral these guys. You can just um, herd them. Maybe try using beta, so that you can just uh, rush by these guys. You know, and again, you herd them. These are regular walkers, so they can be, for example, stunned. 
So perhaps if you've got something like Decimator, something with a huge uh, uh, blast area, if you use that classic S Sasha Yumiko Mercer team, give Mercer something with a really big footprint, a really big blast, and you could stun those walkers as they come out. They're still going to keep on coming, but at least they won't be able to get you, and you might just be able to punch through. I think getting your people together quickly is kind of important on that one. They start off different parts of the cellar, and that's just not a really good look. It is. It's a tough. It, it it's a tough. That's a tough mission. And that first one was tough as well. So you. That's two very tough missions in a, in a row. Um, although you do have a fantastic leader to help you out, so. You know, sort of balances out a bit. Get out together. Okay, this is another one where your team is, is split up. Now let's see, we had Carol, Frank, Unica. So, your team is split up. It might be worth checking it, but I do believe that whoever ha you have in the in the last slot is on the other side of the fence so when it comes to your team composition when it comes to you uh, uh making up your group you might want to keep that in mind now you're going to need to have somebody opening this door if you if you have I mean, Carol is a great range leader, so your team's probably going to be ranged. Something that's worth bearing in mind is that if you have Yumiko on your team, and you attack a target, and the person who's opening the door is in range and has line of sight to that target, she, they, will also attack Yumiko's target. Um... It's not likely that that's going to really kick in because all of the walkers spawn on the other side of the map. But you can still get some activity out of them. Or you could have, say, Connie opening the door. As long as everybody cuddles up and sort of stays near her, um, is adjacent to her, then she will still be granting charge points and extra damage. There's a threat counter on there. Walkers are going to start pouring out as soon as you start opening that door. So you might want to time it with threat counter to make sure that you're not getting overwhelmed. But also, if you can do something to stop bumping up the threat counter, or to reduce it by using a Michonne, for example, or a weapon like the Sawtooth Blade, something that just reduces threat, then that's, that's an option as well. It's... Again, it's a, it's a pretty tricky mission. It's a, it's a unique one because you're separated. Don't forget that the person that you put into your team last is the one who's going to be on the other side of that fence. Death Trap. Reach the exit. Okay, so we don't need to be using McGaggy anymore. We could use... Mr. Mercer. Screw it. I don't care about making noise. <clears throat> okay, it's it's a short one this, but it is <laughs> funnily enough, continuing the theme. It's a tricky one. Yeah, so I know that we got some we got some gnarly stuff in here. I don't think there's a goo. Okay, go there. Very small map. Close combat teams definitely viable on this one. It does have a threat counter as well, so maybe that's it's not a bad idea. But you can just you can just get jumped. You think this is such a simple map layout? You think it it wouldn't be tricky, but it it can be. It really really can be. They can just jump out at you. I mean, it's quick. You're gonna know whether you've done it or not pretty soon. In you're not gonna be spending an awful lot of turns grinding away at that mission. 
Maybe things like Tyrese's debuff circles that slow down the walkers. Make it so that they take damage whenever they walk through that debuff circle. That could be a good idea. This is a tough one, this weekly challenge. There's just no two ways about it. It's tough. Um... Oh my gosh, yeah, this one. At least we haven't got, say, I mean, the governor would be a suitable leader for this for this set of maps, but at least we don't have him as the leader. We've got somebody good. Again, we start split up, and it's, it's, it's tough. So it looks like Carol was the one who starts on the other side. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to draw any attention to myself. And this character is going to just sneak on by. There's no threat counter, so that's okay. And what I suggest is you get everybody charged up. Wow. I remember that. I made a mistake. See, the thing is, when you kill... That last walker, that gate opens, and two walkers per turn will start coming out. Genuinely, genuinely forgot about that. But then that's why I do these videos. So that I can kind of screw up and you can learn from it. Um, we've got a tank over there. Gonna have to deal with him. So as soon as you... Deal with the last walker that starts on the map. That tailgate flips open and walkers start coming out. As soon as you start dealing with that tailgate, starting to close it, more walkers come. And it's tricky. It's it's You're going to have to deal with a tank. So why you might be able to do things like stun those walkers as they come out of the trailer, which is a good tactic. Um, or herd them, for example. That tank's still going to keep coming. One thing that is worth bearing in mind. Tools. Maybe do things like throw some flares to distract those walkers. If you're getting to a high level and you're needing a couple of turns to, to kill them. Chuck a grenade. They're going to be close together. So you should be able to hit multiple targets. Set the explosives and blow up the tank. Guess what? This is another tricky one. We use this team. Now I think... So there's no threat counter, that's that's something. Um, Li Shu, what are you doing? Um, Glenn can be a good bet, because he can set those explosives and still have an action left so keep that in mind very good choice for this mission you got some armored walkers i think you know as the as the difficulty goes up especially once you get past round 60 the type of walkers changes can't remember now if I do this yes there we go as is a bit of a classic theme soon as you're flipping well uh, set those explosives more walkers appear and they will be in range of your character it, it's this is tough this is a, this is a really really tough mission it is I, now, at, at this difficulty, not... No! Wow, I'm glad you dodged. That was a misclick. Better get Mercer out of here. And then, of course, once you've set those explosives, you've got to detonate the tank, and you've got to make sure that you are safe. Everybody's got to be behind these palisades. 
or the tank will, will detonate. It's no good sort of setting those explosives and going like, yes, okay, brilliant, I've got one second. You, you blow yourself up. It's it's a tricky mission. It's a really, really tricky mission. Um, I think all of the walker types that you get on there can be stunned, at least. That's something, or herded. Yeah, it's... Wow, this is this is a really, really hard set of missions for this weekly challenge. You've got an amazing hero to lead you. So hopefully you'll do well. If you've got any specific struggles with specific missions, let me know and I'll, I'll try and help out. But in the meantime, good luck to you and your guild and thank you for watching.